The head of the National Rifle Association, Wayne LaPierre, today making his first public remarks since last week's Florida school shooting. LaPierre telling CPAC the Democrats are intent on exploiting this tragedy for political gain. Watch. They hate the NRA. They hate the Second Amendment. They hate individual freedom. In the rush of calls for more government, they've also revealed them true selves. The elites don't care not one whit about America's school system and school children. Joining me right now, the organizer of CPAC, Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. Matt, it's great to see you. Uh, I'm assuming you're having some fun there. Uh, what was the response of the crowd yeah. when Wayne LaPierre said all that? Well, first of all, this crowd loves and respects Wayne LaPierre's leadership on these basic questions uh, of the Bill of Rights and our civil rights. And this is a tough time for the country. Um, you know, I feel terrible, as we all do, for mm -hmm. the victims of this tragedy. But Wayne LaPierre did the right thing. He didn't back away. He didn't hide. He walked out on the stage and engaged into the dialogue. And part of this dialogue is that uh, it is unfair and unkind to give the victims the impression that another gun law would have saved their relatives. You know, uh, the places with the highest crime rates are the places that have the, the, the toughest gun restrictions. They just don't equate to each other. And I feel like it's fool's gold, gold for so many of these victims. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. But I think you'd also agree, and, and Wayne would agree, that there's no reason somebody who is mentally unstable, right. as unstable as this guy was, should ever have access to a gun. But but it's a multi-pronged approach, right, Matt? I mean, we can't just talk about background right. checks. We got to talk about mental illness. We got to talk about school yeah. safety. Uh, we got to talk about our FBI that's too busy doing God knows what, that they miss a tip like the one they had. Yeah, no, Trish, you're exactly right, which is, you know, the left likes to talk about gun violence, which I think is also a term that's not exactly accurate. All they want to talk about is the laws around guns. And they fail to talk about why we have people that are increasingly reaching towards violence. And I know people think that uh, it's all about passing laws. I actually think when it comes to our, this proclivity to violence, there's not a law we can pass. And the other part of this, which is this is a problem of the soul. Yes, there are people who have uh, mental deficiencies that are prone to violence. We also have people that just do evil and bad and destructive things. And I don't think government can pass laws to change that, but all of us as Americans need to continue to make sure that uh, we're good neighbors, uh, that we're aware in our community. When people are doing things that raise alarms, yeah. we've got to take the step and we've got to call those authorities. And the authorities need, need to have to the ability to, t yeah. that's right. right, and to take concrete steps. Yeah, I, it, this was just a failure on so many levels, and we're learning tonight, of course, of new failures, that there was a, an armed guard outside who chose not to go inside the school because he was afraid when he heard the shots. Uh, it, you know, Ed Rollins was just on the show, Matt, and, it, you know, he said, look, it, it may come to this. I mean, you look at Israel, for example, and they don't have these problems because, you know what? They have warded them off. They have protected their schools. They have they've locked them down to make sure that... Those that want to do their kids harm cannot. Um, you know, if we're going to look at all the things that we need to look at in terms of gun safety, isn't it only responsible of us to also look at the systems that we have in place to flag the crazies right. and to make sure that we're, right. we're, we're protecting those kids? I mean, I don't know what it's going to take. Maybe you need the National Guard there. Maybe you need a, well, a marshal. I mean, think about airlines, right? If you're on a flight. There's well, a U.S. Yeah, Marshal right. on there. Maybe you need them in classrooms. That's right. We've done this before. After 9-11, it didn't take uh, very long at all for the Congress in a near unanimous fashion to vote to uh, be able to harden cockpits and to give pilots the ability to conceal carry. Um, we did that quickly. And it sent a message that we were taking this seriously. You know, I take four of my kids to school many times a week, and there's an armed off-duty policeman that helps the drop-off and helps the kids get to school. But when that bell rings, the, this off-duty policeman gets in his car and drives away. I think we need to harden these assets. We need to have better security. I agree with the vice president. It is not right for any kid in America to feel unsafe in our schools. That should end. Agreed.
Agreed 100%. Matt, thank you for joining me and uh, keep talking about this stuff. I actually think that you guys can really, uh, we all as a country can see a breakthrough right now. Um, and now's the time. I agree, Trish. You do the same thing. I will. Thank you.